let's look at creating a formula using absolute referencing here. Starting off with our equal sign to get started. Then I'm going to reference cell C4 times. And then here's the key here. I'm trying to use the cell D2 um, each time. So what we need to do is we need to put a dollar sign in front of the column if I want to lock the column and in front of the row to lock down the row. That formula there, dollar sign D, dollar sign 2, is going to treat this cell here as a, a fixed reference or an absolute reference. I'll accept the formula and double click, copy down. And we'll see that every time we're using the cell D2 locked in its place there. Okay, so the nice thing about that is if the formula changes my reference to let's say we're 13 and a quarter percent, that will update all the values here. Now, sometimes it matters where you put the dollar sign as, as we look here. I'm going to be doing a, a multiplication fact table by 12s here. Start off with the uh, a simple formula or start off with, you know, one times one. But I'm going to be referencing our uh, cell references here. So starting off with cell, that's B4. I can't leave it B4, so I'm going to teach you a little trick here. You hit the F4 key, and what that does is it creates an absolute reference here. The only problem with that there is I need to actually use the referencing for only partial uh, locking down. So we call this a mixed reference when you only have one dollar sign. Okay, so you ask yourself, this is a concept here that you have to ask yourself, okay, I want actually to use these values coming down here, one, two, three, so I need to not have a dollar sign in front of the four, so I have a relative reference on the row, but I definitely need to lock down the column. So as you hit F4, watch how the reference here or up here will change, kind of cycles through until the one that you want. So I have equals dollar sign B, locking down the column, because I don't want the column to switch over when I drag side, but I do want to relatively reference the row, so I don't have a dollar sign in front of the fourth row. Okay, so multiply that times cell C3. Once again, can't have it just C3. We ask ourselves, do we want the formula as we copy to the right? Do we want to use these numbers here? Yes, we do. So don't have a dollar sign in front of the column. I'll hit F4. That locks it down completely both directions. Hit F4 again. And that's what I want. Locking down the third row. So when I'm copying down, we keep that third row emphasis there. I'm going to hit enter. Copy the formula down. Beautiful. And to the right. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly pick this 81, double click it. You can see how it's it went down because we did not have a dollar sign in front of the row. And it went to the right. Up here we see how the referencing there. That's mixed referencing, a really nice feature there. Don't forget, you can use the F4 key to reference, the absolute referencing toggles back and forth between mixed referencing. Hope you enjoyed this video here. Uh, for more tips and tricks, visit stevechasedocs.wordpress.com. Thank you.